Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? Let's get back to the Vietnam dong, shall we? Look at them nice $100 bills. I'll take a stack of those if you don't mind. Actually, I had six stacks, six racks of 10 grand each back when I won my jackpot. Sure to hell could use that right about now. Anyways, let's find out what's going on in Vietnam, where the Vietnam dong is at the present moment, and if the economy is still thriving over there in Vietnam. Before we get started, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button, and if you're not a subscriber, please do so, because when you do, it helps out the channel, and I certainly do appreciate it. You can follow me over on other platforms. I do have a, my own group over on Facebook called Pimby's Investment Chat. Over here, we do talk about gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, as well as foreign currency investments. So head on over here and join us. It's free to do so. In here, I do post updates. If I should get on suspension from YouTube or get removed from YouTube and you want to know what happened to me, I'll let you know right here in this group. I can be found on Twitter, MeWe, YouTube. And the cool thing about YouTube, if you come over here and you join and you find my channel, I got videos going back, I believe, a couple years. So if you want to see some older videos that I have on Nisera Jacera, Gold, Silver, Cryptos, come on over here and join. Look me up and check out my videos. You can also find me on Odyssey, catch me on Rumble. When I say that the links for all these are down below in the description, some of you don't know what I'm talking about, it's real simple. Just go down to the bottom right here of any of my videos, see this, this is the description. Hit show more, and there are all the links to all the platforms I just spoke about. All right, as of today, the dollar slips against the dong. <laughs> the US dollar fell slightly against the Vietnamese dong on Monday. Vietcom Bank sold the dollar at 24725 Vietnam dong for every dollar. Dang, that sounds crazy compared to the uh, Iraqi dinar. Down 0.02% from Sunday. State Bank of Vietnam kept its reference rate unchanged at 24097 Vietnam dong for every dollar. The dollar was stable at 24600 on the black market. So see, they deal with the black market just like Iraq does. It has seen an increase against the dong by 4.19% since the beginning of the year. Globally, the dollar held steady and cautious trade on Monday and pinned the yen near 150 as traders look to a policy decision by the Bank of Japan later on this week. Along with other central bank meetings, a slew of economic data releases globally. So this is going to be very interesting to see what happens with all these meetings and the data that's coming out how that affects all the currencies. As you can see here, the Vietnam Dong, when this goes up, this is not a good direction. We actually want it to go down. Here in May of 2023, it was doing really good and it's been going up ever since. That's with all the Fed height rate that are causing this to happen. So look, anytime you can take a step in that direction, no matter how small, I'm happy with it, as long as it continues to head in that direction. Now, to me, this is big news. For those of you who are unaware, rare earth metals are huge in China. As a matter of fact, they own the dominance of the market. And we need these minerals in order to create our defense weapons. And China controls the bulk of it. So we'd be screwed if they decided not to part with any of the rare earth metals. We couldn't defend our country. But it looks like there's a new hope on the horizon here inside Vietnam's plans to dent China's rare earth dominance. This probably won't bode over very well with China. So it says, Vietnam plans to restart its biggest rare earth mines next year with the Western-backed project that could rival the world's largest, according to two companies involved. As part of a broader push to dent China's dominance in the sector that helps power advanced technologies, the move would be a step towards the Southeast Asia's country's aim of building a rare earth supply chain including developing its capacity to refine ores and the metals used in magnets for electrical vehicles, smartphones, and wind turbines. So, of course, this is great news for the United States as well. We need these for technology. A lot of that technology that we put is in our defense system, into the missiles. So, yeah, next year, of course, they're going to be supported and backed by U.S. companies. <laughs> that's, that's a give me right there. So, good news. That's going to be very big for Vietnam. In addition, this is going to be pretty good as well. A 1 million ton liquefied natural gas terminal project, the biggest of its kind in Vietnam, was officially put into operation in southern province. Nice. 
The project was invested by Petro Vietnam Gas Joint Stock Corporation, subsidiary company of the Vietnam Oil and Gas Group, in coordination with the joint venture of Samsung CNT Corporation and Petro Vietnam's Technical Service Corporation. Whew, get that all out. The country's biggest and most modern LNG terminal includes a terminal capable of handling vessels with dead weight tonnage of up to 100,000, a storage tank of 180,000, a gas pipeline, and a complex operating center, among others. In the first phase, it has a storage capacity of 100 million tons of LNG per year, which will be raised to 3 million tons in the second phase. In the second phase, its LNG deliquefaction capacity stands at 171 tons per hour. For this complex, LNG will be distributed to customers via pipelines or by tankers and satellite warehouses. Addressing the inauguration ceremony, the Deputy Prime Minister said that over the past years, Vietnam has been working hard to develop a modern and efficient energy infrastructure. It views natural gas and gas products as among clean, safe, effective, and convenient energy sources. With many gas infrastructure facilities and major complexes. So you're going to have my gas, power, fertilizer, complexes already operational, and Block B, O, Mon Gas project to be completed soon. Petro Vietnam and PV Gas will continue making substantial contributions to local budget revenues, job creation, and economic restructuring. He went on. See, it, Vietnam seems to have their act together, but man, their currency sucks so bad. He considered the operation of the LNG terminal as an important facility helping carry out the party and the government's policy on natural energy development and energy transition. So this will help them domestically as well as internationally as well. So just like Iraq, they are looking to be bigger players in the energy arena. And Vietnam has their uh, tank that's up and operational. We know that Iraq is trying to do what they can to get their natural gas product going as well. So as usual, Vietnam continues to be steady as she goes. It looks like it has survived the huge onslaught of the interest rate hikes of the U.S. dollar, which was killing their trade exchange. But it looks like they're leveling out pretty good now, and the economy is doing really well. Anyways, that's it for Vietnam. Let me know what you think. I'll get back at you later. I am out.